Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading into the colony section yet again for the very first map. That is right, Terra Moon has no information on it. Let's see what it does. It is a hold map. It says use porters and I mean I, I want to hold but I don't want to use porters. Let's see the map and what we have is a lovely emitter. We have a lovely spore launcher. We have a lot of breeder terrain. Oh my, oh my. We have some miners. We have some totems. And we have some skimmers and some blobs. Three in four minutes. I think we can handle those. We have four urns available. And you know what to start? I'm just going to... I'm just going to place down one turp right there. Just so I don't forget. I'm very good at forgetting my turps. And I want those urns, of course. So what else are we going to do? So we have our miner set, so we can get some early power, of course. And, yeah, we need to hold. So, I mean, we could go right over here and put up a valiant defense, I am sure. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We are going to Tree Island. That's right. We are going to Treeville. Uh, and let's, let's try and maximize our tree gains, right? So if we go like here, if we go like here... Probably, I want that left side, and I guess I want the right side. I want it all, right? We want it all. Uh, but we're also going to need one right on the edge, so I guess this is our edge. Oh, all right. You're done. There we go. That's what we want to see. Perfect. That is it. And then we need to collect this area, and this area, and the next, oh, there's, oh, jeez. We want every single tree. I mean, it might sound ridiculous, but every single one is actually just a huge benefit to us, right? I mean, it's literally free economy. And I don't like that one, but you know what? It's seven more areas in Treeville. So let's make sure we got it. Over here, boom, look at that. We have our two bases, and this is going to be our start. Not too crazy. Uh, we do have our skimmer factory in four minutes and our blob nest. Our goal is to not have to worry about either of those, of course. Not saying we're going to be nullifying the blob nest. I have a feeling this is going to be a lot of creep. Uh, I just messed around for a few minutes uh, just to see. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this map. Uh, there we go. We have some generation. It's looking pretty fine, if you ask me. Still in a deficit, but that's going to be changing real quick. Yeah, that's, that's a good string. Let us make sure. Uh, there we go. Another good string going down. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because, again, this is to generate us energy, right? Oh, that's not the best. But you know what? It's too late now. Step two is almost in place. Step two, are these connected? Those are connected. Step two, our base is moving over here. That's right. We don't need our base up here any longer. This is connected. This is connected. So as long as we're connected to this network, we're connected to trees. So we no longer need to have our base over there. And you know what? We're going to want our base somewhere where our uh, our towers are going to be made, right? So clearly... We're just gonna we're just gonna take the the good old path and move on down here. Look at our energy generation that we are using it as we are getting it, and that's what we want to see. And you know what? We are in a slight problem now, right? We need some cannons and we need them fast, but we have the energy to make them quite quickly. So we're gonna toss down two here to protect this. We're gonna toss down two here to protect our base when we land, and then we are just gonna start tossing down just a couple of cannons uh, because clearly we're gonna need it. So, there we go. We are also getting a turp up, right? Turp up means we get urns. Urns are good. Urns are wanted by pylons. That's right, that's right. We want one on a pylon, and hopefully we can take this back before it goes bad. Uh, let us see. Our base is in trouble, but look at that. Look, because we had so much energy, we literally just flew through making six cannons. I mean, huge amounts of cannons right there. Now, problematically so, this spot is not going to be the easiest thing to take back right away, right? So we're going to fly in a couple of cannons. We are going to fly in some more as well uh, once they are done, and we should have the energy to really bust out a huge amount of cannons right now. Um, 
our energy generation is fantastic. The only problem right now is this. These were not connected to energy, so let's make sure they can get it. And if they get it, we should be good to take this back. There we go. We have it. We have extra cannons on the go. They are going to come on down. And again, that's we have held, I believe. Uh, this point is not happy, but it will be... There we go. Look at that. We've already taken it back. Fantastic. That's exactly what we want to see. We have dug up most of our urns. Let's toss down our port and grab everything. Uh, well, except for fire rate. Uh, I do prefer fire rate to fire range, but it'll be up now. There we go. Okay. Uh, and finally, I guess we can go back to the energy zone, right? We want to uh, finalize our energy situation. So let us make sure we do that. Boom. Another set. All the way up. Nice and pretty. We'll even connect that up because it can be. And we can even move these over as well. This will just help with our power situation. We'll start moving uh, cannons over. Uh, I guess I'll just make a cannon or two over here. Uh, just as protection. One and two. And then we're going to need some mortars, right? Because the creeper is getting deeper. Uh, but we have a lot of things to build right now. So we are going to do that. And we are going to start planning some mortars. That's right. We just, we just want a couple for now. Uh, we will get more over time. Uh, but step one is just getting a few. Uh, over here, look at that, built up. Boom. Don't even need a porter like was desired, right? Who who needs a porter? Not I, says I. I just need this. We can also then immediately go straight into a nullifier, which shuts this down. Uh, we also will need our factory. Now that this is connected up, we will need a factory, of course, and I guess it's going to be down here. Uh, with a factory, of course, we are going to be getting green R, so we might as well snag a refinery. And how are we doing on time? A minute and 28? I'm feeling pretty okay. We are going to need some snipers. I'm going to want some snipers over here in case blobs go up. I am going to want some snipers down here for when blobs go down. Uh, but step one right now is still just establish our base, right? We just want to be able to push this creep back, and then we can worry about the snipers after the fact. So, cannons, looking great. Feeling real fine. And I think... You know what? I, I wasn't even... We, we have a Terp. Terp, get over here. Let's go to our Terraform right down here, and let's just copy this and just say, you know what? You just get to work. You have fun. Uh, because, you know what? That is just what we want flattened out, right? Just flatten that, all that out. Don't even care. A little bit extra for your trouble. And we're even going to flatten out some of this. Just a little bit here. Just a little bit here. Probably don't even... Eh, just like that. So, our Terp has something to do. That way, you know, Terpus Maximus is feeling great. Again, we are just feeling great about this whole scenario right now. Uh, there really isn't too much that can stop us at the moment, but you know what? Sometimes I speak before I think. Or I think before I speak. No, wait, I never think before I speak. I just speak. It just happens. Uh, problematically. And I think we need some missiles, right? We mostly want to protect our back door, though. The, you know, backdoor friends are best, without a doubt. But, there's also a problem with spores here, right? So, as great as it is to have backdoor friends uh, with these spores, I'd rather not deal with it. I would rather snag a couple more terps down over here as well, just to sort of help this path out. And then we'll, we'll snag down some more power, why not? Maybe even get some blue white? Ooh, blue white. Who doesn't like blue white in the morning? Am I right? You know... Just, uh, just tastes pretty good. And there we go. Another set done. We have all of our snipers. They're coming out. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. All taken care of. Uh, we have our spores coming in on the side, which is great. Not worried about that at all. Uh, and I don't think I did that. You know what? Just in case stuff likes to creep up the side, I am going to do a little bit of extra defense, right? Just a wee little bit. Look at all of this action. Oh, it's, it's action-packed, right? Moving on up with our mortars. These mortars should basically push it to the edge. And then I think, again, I think we're feeling really, really, really good about just, just everything right now. I mean, 
I think I think this is essentially our map to lose at this point. Uh, I, the Terps are doing their thing. Don't even know what to say for them. I'll just toss down a couple more because, again, we have the energy. Might as well. It'll speed up the process. Uh, but look at this. See? The mortars cleared everything up. And you know what? With that in mind, I definitely need a new nullifier. There we go. Nullifier, get your butt out there. And I think I also want a pylon network, right? Uh, do I care about a pylon network? I guess I do, right? Because we are sending it, you know, things back and forth and, and blah, 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 blah. Might as well. Might as well. With a pylon network, though, we also kind of care about an emrift network, right? We might as well, if we if we use an emrift, then we can reclaim an urn, which is actually pretty potent when you think about it, right? Reclaiming an urn for uh, 400 uh, red on, definitely worth it, 100%. So I am going to toss down a red on network. All we really need with the red on is the uh, the missile launchers. Don't even really need shields. Uh, there really isn't too much to shield from, right? It's it's pretty much these two paths. And I guess last but not least is our lovely little area that we uh, we made some some space down here. Oh, look at that. Just, just, just about right. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about that as well. We'll also nip that off. And we will make sure that any of these little bumps, which I swear I moused over, are taken care of. Look at this. Oh, no. We shot it down. We did it! Oh, it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Uh, time to grab miners. Now, one thing for miners, I do not like the enhanced spec. Oh, I actually clicked. There we go. It's just so bright, right? Whereas, you know, normal, normal miners, they're just... This is the right shade for me, at least. Uh, if you like it, more power to you. Not going to say turn it on or turn it off, but when I do with deal with miners i much 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 prefer just to to turn it off for a second so i don't blind myself i mean I, i'm fairly blind as it is and look at you how did you avoid get out of here get out of there so now we have to unpause just for a second while that gets out of there there we go we want to finish up our miners and then we're, we're not going to be making all of these at once right there's no way we are going to be making all of these at once but we're going to make a couple uh, of course. And we also need to plan our towers, right? So towers really need to just super get in on this. Uh, ooh. Okay, good. There we go. All the towers. Feeling good. Moving all around. I believe that hits everything except for... Nope, that now hits everything. And we're going to turn all of these off, right? Don't even need that many. And we're also going to turn, say, all of those to blue white. Maybe... You know, all of these to blue eight. Half and half. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's see how we're doing on power. Fingers crossed we have the power to handle this. Uh, actually, it looks like we have plenty of power to handle this. I, I don't even know what I was worried about. Uh, I'm actually kind of upset we have that much power. Uh, let's move up our snipers in case of eggs. And I guess... Oh, nope. There goes the power. It's all going down. But that's okay, because now we can do bombers, of course. Uh, we're going to do a nice row of bombers, and we're going to do a nice row of AC bombers. That's right, because well, look at all that breeder terrain, right? We can just use that. So let's just use it. I mean, hey, I am very happy with that. I'm going to have two more bombers than I do AC bombers, though. I think that is more important to me. Units go on. Again, we're in a huge deficit now. Um, monstrous. But, yeah, we should be okay. You know, maybe we'll turn off a couple of these just to get out of the deficit. Maybe. Oh, come on. You can get me out of the deficit. You know you want to. Ugh, planes take up so much energy wild there we go starting to come online turn the rest of them on but you know what they will help build the others it's a fantastic cycle to see and basically there we go we are in a position where we are just getting our air force online we're going to start bombing here we're going to land over here and one thing i want to know is if i have a pylon right here will that connect it will it will connect don't even need an urn over here 
So it looks like we have another porterless area. Ooh, porterless, that's what I like to see. You know, when maps say, you better make a porter, I say, you forgot about earning the pylon. It is such an easy thing to forget about, too. Earning a pylon, I think, is one of the most forgotten about things, for the most part. Uh, every time I do it, I, even I'm like, that, that works really, really well. <laughs> like, it surprises me. Um, we are going to try and take out this side and start dropping some AC right about here. And we're going to just try and take a small area uh, and work our way out, of course. Our goal is to build a pylon over here which we can over here as well. So yeah, we can we can start planning our assault. Look at this, the planes cometh. Uh, do we have our M-Rifts yet? Not yet, I would love to reclaim that urn. Just toss it on a cannon. I wanna fly a super cannon over, of course. Our AC bombers, en route. Uh, unfortunately, they are a few seconds too late, but that's okay, right? This is going to hold, I hope. And look at that, we now have power on the other side. I think we have an Assault Force. Assault Force coming in, taking it to the enemy. And they have power. That's the most important part, is not only do we have an Assault Force, but we have an Assault Force with power. Uh, very easy to avoid. Now, blue eye, I will admit, uh, I am gonna do this, and I am gonna say, switch all these to blue eye, because I want my, oh no. Oh, see, the AC bombers can't fill fast enough. That is bad. Okay, so that is bad for us. Oh, look, it would have been perfect if we just had more AC. So that is my fault there. I might need more AC for the bombers. And I guess I'm going to need some more cannons. Mishaps have happened. So perfectly fine. It's just some cannons. And yes, I let them die, but I let them use their energy to the best of their ability. So, there we go. The AC cometh again, but now we need to basically wait for another landing zone. So, problematic. Uh, they are going to breed in a few seconds, which is going to cause an issue. Hopefully, we will reveal a bit more of the land with our can with our, uh, our friends. Uh, but there we go. Now, they are breeding. And once we see another set of blue light coming in, by blue, I mean AC. Oh, wait, we actually held the point. Okay, we held the point. I'm feeling super good about that now. Um, our AC bombers have a full complement of AC, so they are now dropping their next payload with these cannons landing and the AC that's on the ground and having a pylon over here. We should be fine. Fingers crossed. Uh, is the fingers crossed fine? You know? Uh, very fanta fantastic of it, fantastiche. Uh, love it, love it, love it. And there we go. Look at that. We now have the AC. We have the land. We have the planes. The bombers can now actually start cutting off another area. You know, we're just going to cut off, like, in the back. Because our mortars are coming. Our mortars are going to join the fight, right? You know, the mortars are going to do the most to this deep creep. And, yeah. I'm feeling it. I am super, super feeling it. I think this was a good map. Definitely, definitely probably could have done it significantly faster. Um, but for just having, having some fun, you know, singing our song, moving along, going side by side, you know, all that stuff. Feeling really good about it. And there we go. Uh, we'll take a little top-down view to see how much we are clearing. And look at that, the AC is just taking over from our bombers. We are going to move the AC forward, move it up to this side, just to take a bit more. And you know what, maybe we should actually move the AC up into this corner, right? Start taking that out, because look, the AC just took that out. Uh, we have cannons moving up, we have mortars moving up, we have planes! Oh, the breeding cycle hits, though. And it is dangerous because of eggs. Eggs, always the big danger in pretty much every map. I mean, when you are playing against the creep, eggs tend to be, I think, the most dangerous element of the map. So do be careful with your eggs. They are, you know, they're dangerous. They're tricky. They, they'll come for you. Uh, but again, we have the AC now. 
So there really isn't too much that's going to stop us from this. I mean, look at this. All, oh. There we go. We can rift jump. We have activated all the totems. That's not what we're here to do, though. We are here to finalize this egg displacement. And you know what? We're just going to fly all these over. Uh, I am going to move all of my AC. Oh, I can't snipe those! Oh, that would have been so good to snipe them on. I should just make a shield. Oh my gosh. The one time the shield is super useful. If you put a shield and eggs start going up a shield and you blow them up with snipers, it is incredible. Right? Uh, because a sniper will not blow up. Or eggs that are blown up while uh, in a shield. Oh, I blew up the shield. Alright, too late now. It's too late. I thought about it too late. I did think about it, though. Because if we had just popped a shield down, raised all the eggs up, and then shot them, that would have been in freaking credible uh, You know why I never checked? There is no overload. It makes sense. Overload was added later. Just wanted to make sure. Whew. There we go. That is the end of the map. We will nullify our final enemy right here. Bazinga, bazanga. A little bit of creep out there. And you know what? It's not going to take really anything to do. AC bombers, just go over there. Super fast. Pew! Done. All creep eliminated. We have taken the map. This is, again, the first map created. Uh, very, very cool. Love it. And there we go. Let us rift and jump away and have a good day. So, feeling pretty good. And you know what? Time-wise, yeah, seven minutes. Look at that. Uh, for destruction. Feeling pretty good, though. I am quite happy with this. It was just a fun, relaxing map. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will catch you next time. Thank you so much.